Hello and Assalamualaikum. This video is about uh, matter and the atomic structure, subtopic 2.4, isotopes and its uses. So, before we proceed, first we have to know the meaning of isotope. Okay, isotope are atoms of the same element with the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. Okay. okay, let's see uh, the difference in subatomic particles of the isotope. Okay, this is an example of isotope of chlorine. Okay, so here as you can see, we have chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. The, this number 35 and 37 are the nucleon number. Okay, so if we write the standard representation, uh, uh, 35 uh, and 17 is the proton number as you can see here the difference is uh, the nucleon number okay so the proton number is the same uh, which is 17 and since the nucleon number is different so the number of neutron are also different uh, because the number of neutron you got from uh, nucleon number eh? nucleon number is 35 uh, equals to uh, number of proton 17 plus no, uh, number of neutron okay so you got the number of neutron there eh? and the number of electron is the same okay so the difference are at the number of neutron hmm? number of proton number of electron are the same okay for isotopes eh? so Again, the definition of isotope is atoms of the same element. See, the same element, chlorine. Uh, atoms of the same element with same number of protons but different number of neutrons. Okay, so um, most elements exist naturally as a mixture of two or more isotopes. Eh? Relative atomic mass of these elements depends on the natural abundance of isotopes in a sample. So, natural abundance is the percentage of isotope present in a new natural sample of elements. The relative atomic mass can be calculated from the natural abundance of an element containing isotopes with uh, using the following formula. Okay, so this is the formula we use to calculate the relative atomic mass for the uh, element. Okay, so let's Okay, let's see example. Uh, chlorine consists of two isotopes, chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. The natural abundance of chlorine 35 is 70% and chlorine 37 is 25%. Calculate the relative atomic mass of chlorine. Okay, so by using the formula just now, okay, relative atomic mass of chlorine. Okay, this is the way we calculate eh, percent of isotope for chlorine 35 eh, times the mass plus the percentage of chlor isotope chlorine 37 and times the mass. Eh. Okay, so the percentage of chlorine 35 from the question just now is 75% times the relative mass, atomic mass is 35. Yeah? The nuclear number is also the relative atomic mass, yeah? 35. Okay, and the percentage of chlorine 37 is 25%. Uh, and the relative mass is 37. Uh, the nuclear number are also the relative mass, okay? And then you calculate, you got the... Relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5. Okay, look at the uses of isotope. Isotope is actually widely used in uh, many fields. Eh? Okay, so this example in medicine field, cobalt-60 is used in radiotherapy to kill cancer without surgery. 
uh, sterilizing surgical tools. Iodine 131. This is the way we write the uh, isotope. Eh? Iodine dash 131 is used in treatment of thyroid disorders such as hyperthyroidism and thyroid cancer. In agriculture, phosphorus 32 is used to study uh, metabolism in plants. Nuclear field uranium-235 is used in generating electricity through nuclear power generator. In archaeology, carbon-14 to estimate uh, artifact of fossil age and lead-210 is used in determining the age of sand and earth layers up to 80 years. In industry, hydrogen-3 is used as a detector to study sewage and liquid waste. And in engineering, sodium-24 is used in detecting leaking in underground pipes. Okay, thank you for watching. Hope this video can help you to understand more about isotopes. Thank you, bye.